what can I say about James Gunn's The Peacemaker series except for wow. I know this review is a little late, but for those who haven't seen this yet or are hesitating, what are you waiting for? Get off your butts and just watch this show. It's definitely quite a roller coaster ride. What I thought to be a generic, cheap looking, corny comic book series turned out to be one of the best, if not the best, comic book series put on streaming to date. And that's not an exaggeration. With the Batman releasing this Friday and already receiving rave reviews and praise from the critics, DC is definitely on a roll, especially when it comes to the small screen. I mean, they've always found success with their animated movies and TV shows anyway, but now you can add streaming movies to that list. Of course, that statement will probably create a lot of backlash from disgruntled Marvel fanboys, which I'm perfectly fine with, so fire away at the comments section and tell me your thoughts if you fall in that category. And while you're at it, please do me a solid by liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Okay, but anyway, let's continue with the review. After watching all 8 episodes, I found myself on cloud 9, completely satisfied, excited, and with a renewed hope for the DCEU to finally get off their ass and write good stories with compelling characters. By lacking an overall vision, direction, and plan combined with movies that typically garnered mixed receptions, these factors kept the DCEU from re reaching success like Marvel has. After watching all 8 episodes, I find myself on cloud 9 completely satisfied, excited, and with a renewed hope for the DCEU to finally get off their ass and write good stories with compelling characters. But lacking an overall vision, direction, and plan, combined with movies that typically garnered mixed receptions, these factors kept the DCEU from reaching success like Marvel has. Whether WB knows it or not, they need to stop trying to catch up to Marvel already and focus on quality entertainment instead. Additionally, stop focusing on the woke and SJW agendas over a good story just like what Marvel and other movies have been doing for the last 10 years or so, and everything should be fine. Besides, that would be copying Marvel again. So WB, stop copying Marvel and just do your own thing already. If WB focused on good stories and good characters that we cared about, they too can eventually make consistent billion dollar box office movies and popular streaming shows that the audience will thirst for. So bravo to the Peacemaker for setting that standard, which again, is weird to say considering it's a show about a goofy character nobody heard of until James Gunn's The Suicide Squad was released. And unless you're a comic book reader, of course, which many aren't. John Cena as a Peacemaker was a pleasant surprise since I never really cared for his acting abilities, nor the character itself, until now. This is easily his best role to date, and now I can't see anyone else play the character but him. The rest of the cast were great as well, each playing a significant role in the entire story that flowed and made sense, justifying their existence. They're just not forgettable, wasted characters as many shows has done in the past. But the standout to me of all these characters was Vigilante who was almost close to a shining peacemaker on his own show. I remembered him from two of his comic books as a child and thought the name and character was intriguing and fun. I just never knew he was a part of the peacemaker's protege since he usually went solo in those two comics I read. Nevertheless, I was actually amazed and glad they brought him to, into live action. What a great character. But the true star of this show is James Gunn. Although he directed five out of the eight episodes, he wrote them all so his DNA was all over the show. Every zany, crazy, goofy, funny, and hyper-violent scene came out of his weird, twisted mind, and they all worked. Well, for the most part. Yeah, there are some jokes that dragged too long or weren't as funny, but those really were the only critique I have for this show. And that is crazy. An almost perfect show with a character and story that I thought would just be a waste of time. So I'm glad I gave it a chance, especially just coming out of the horrible The Book of Boba Fett. I'm not going to even review that series because of how disappointed I was. It was such a waste of time, and aside from two episodes being the best, both of which weren't directed by Robert Rodriguez, thank god. This guy should never touch Star Wars again. But I digress. Anyway, unlike Marvel, the Peacemaker did not pull any punches when it came to the gore, profanity, and even some nudity. 
it was definitely meant for HBO and definitely was a refreshing take on the comic book genre, but definitely not for kids and definitely a movie made for adults. And I really appreciated that. But aside from it not being for kids, I can understand why this show may not resonate with a lot of people too. Most of the jokes are definitely juvenile and too silly. Some of the gore may not be for the faint of heart, and some of the themes may make people very uncomfortable, all of which can definitely keep viewers from continuing on with the show. So if this is you, I completely understand. Nevertheless, I hope you still power through it all because the last episode alone definitely paid off and tied everything together. This is typically a difficult feat to achieve, especially when a series has been so good the entire time and only for the last episode to screw it all up. So the fact that James Gunn pulled it off made the show even sweeter and memorable. And if you were able to stay away from spoilers, the end cameo definitely raised the hair in my arms and brought a huge smile on my face. Let's just say it definitely opened some possibilities. If you know what I'm talking about, please don't spoil it in the comments section for those who haven't seen the show yet. Again though, I don't know how anyone would not give this show a try. Anyway, that's my Peacemaker review. If you ever feel that comic book movies and shows are getting repetitive and stale, then watch this show. You will not be disappointed and definitely not be bored. Well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this review, as always, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And until the next video, stay casual.